All right, we've all had some time to settle down from the news, a, a day just to calm down from all of the major disclosure. Manufacturers have put out official press releases as to what's going on, the Intel kernel security flaw, we know about two new exploits, and the doom and gloom is the sky falling. In a way, it kinda is, but ultimately, I think we're all gonna be okay. Two new security threats, and let's start with the bad one first. We're talking about Meltdown. I really wanna know who comes up with the names for these things because they're pretty badass. Meltdown is the scary immediate threat, and this is the one that only affects Intel processors. When we were worried about user-level programs being able to access protected memory areas of your computer's kernel, this is the threat we were talking about. Meltdown can be exploited pretty much by any piece of software you can convince a user to run. Remember, hacking isn't, you know, frantic typing at a keyboard trying to crack into the mainframe. A lot of hacking is just social engineering. So if you can convince someone to run a piece of software or you can infect a website that a lot of people frequent, you can get access to a lot of tasty information. In working quickly to patch this, the fix called Kaiser, this is also the concern that we had that Intel computers could face slowdowns from 5 to 30%. Depending on the processor being used and the application the computer is working on, that is still accurate. We could be facing significant performance penalties from rolling out this fix. It's the depending on application where a lot of people are gonna be okay. The way that the meltdown fix is currently being employed, it's databasing and networking applications that are gonna be hit the hardest. If a primary application on your desktop at home is gaming, we'll probably see some scientific hit to performance, especially when the game is first being loaded up. But once that game's actively being run, we shouldn't necessarily see degradation after the program is launched. For those of you concerned that AMD processors were also being affected by the patches for Meltdown, the newest updates have all added little exceptions because AMD system architecture isn't affected by this security flaw. Basically just a little programmer checkbox. If CPU equals AMD, then no Kaiser and you're fine. Meltdown only affects Intel CPUs. It's big, it's scary, but we're working on fixing it right now. The second security flaw discussed affects basically every processor designed over the last 20 years. Code names, Vector. Vector also allows someone to get into a system and probably walk away with information that you wouldn't want them to have, but it's a lot more difficult to exploit than Meltdown. We don't know of any real world exploits for Spectre, but the fact that this is a pervasive problem across the entire computing industry means that we could potentially see some sort of exploit in the future. As it stands, Spectre is nearly impossible to fix without significant changes to how we manufacture our processors. Over the last two decades, we've been so focused on improving the performance of these parts, we've made certain assumptions about security, and it would seem those assumptions have proven to be not as accurate as we'd hoped they were. We're only at the beginning of unraveling what this might mean for the entire computing industry. Meltdown is super scary and just how immediate this threat is, but it should hopefully be dealt with over the next round of patches from whoever supplied your operating system. Hopefully it won't hit consumers too hard, but Intel should definitely not be let off the hook, especially for all the companies out there running backbone services and and cloud services. After that, we just don't know how quickly companies like Qualcomm, AMD, and Intel can get after redesigning and creating new architectures, which are not gonna be prone to the specter flaw. Processor development is a multi-year endeavor, so whatever's in the pipeline right now is probably gonna be facing the same types of security threats that we're currently dealing with today. For those of you in the same situation as me, you were looking at building a new PC in 2018, I don't know that I would push pause on making that new system. But we're all going to be living with the knowledge that if some bad actor out there does find a way to exploit Spectre, all of our systems have this huge security hole. Folks, I got a lot of fun chatter on my first video, again, where I was a little bit crankier and a little more doom and gloomy about the whole situation. So I hope you'll join me down in the comments to further discuss what's going on in processor architecture and security. Like I said, I've got relevant articles and press releases in the description of this video to help expand on the topic, get some good reading in there so that you can arm yourself properly for what's going to happen to your PC. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for all of my tech commentary and vlogs. I've got some fun experimental videos coming up and some camera showdowns that I think are going to be a lot of fun for you guys to check out. Uh, you can catch me around the web at some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you on the next video.